what's up everybody? I am going to be streaming Super Metroid and A Link to the Past, Randomizer. Uh, I've never seen this before. Some clever folks figured out that the ROMs for Super Metroid and Link to the Past don't use the same memory addresses, that you can mash them together, turn them into one big game. Uh, and then they went on to randomize where all the items are, so you can get progress items from both games. Looks like we're just playing Super Metroid to start off, but just you watch. Uh, I'm going to get started here in a second. I'll probably do some rambling while things are going on. Uh, if I go quiet, do you have some information to convey to me about the quality of my stream? You just go ahead and send me a message if you have me on on Facebook. Uh, I have my Facebook Messenger open and available. I probably will not be looking at the Twitch chat because Twitch chat tends to be full of a bunch of jerks. No offense to those of you who are not jerks. The jerks know who I'm talking about. Uh, so anyway, uh, let's get started. First time that I played this, uh, I went absolutely wild at the idea that you don't get items necessarily from the game that they're in. I took all sorts of screenshots and excitedly posted them on Facebook. I'm uh, looking right now for getting my timer started. And I'm using an item tracker from smalttpr.mymm1.com um, and because I'm running this on Linux right now I can't really use one of those fancy GUIs so I'm pretty much just using a browser and Open Broadcaster is cropped as you can see directly below me uh, it's a list of all the bosses in the game, all the items in both games um, and as I collect items, I'll be clicking them and enabling them so you can tell just how far along I am. Uh, those item trackers that I'll be using, they are uh, aware of the logic of both games and the way that the um, randomizer mashup game basically locks things out as you collect item progression items. Um, so I'll be using those heavily to check off what I've collected and what I haven't. Right off the bat, uh, I've just found my timer. I'm going to start that and then I'm going to get going. There we go. To begin with, I need to change the controller settings because the default controller settings just never work for me. I don't understand using X as your shot button. So I'll change that to Y. Uh, jump is more comfortable for me on B. And that should be good. The um, weird words up at the top were to show people what seed you've created. Neat thing about random number generators and computers is that they aren't actually fully random. Um, they're basically mathematical mathematical scripts. And I'm looking off of the OBS broadcast. I should be looking off of my own monitor. That's a bit easier to, to see. Um, random number generators are not actually random per se. Uh, you might notice that already I'm encountering enemies when in the base game I shouldn't. Um, so random number generators, if you provide them a seed, they will create the same sequence of random numbers every time. So uh, I put the seed in the open broadcast setup, and if you wanted to play the same game with the same item setup as mine, uh, you can go ahead and enter that seed uh, at samus.link, which is an absolutely great name. 
Uh, right here, if you notice up on my top map, normally this is just a tiny little room. Uh, normally this will be where Samus gets her first map for Crateria. Uh, here, it's actually a teleporter. Over to The Legend of Zelda. And now I'm at the... I have absolutely no sword. I have no items whatsoever, and that crab took two life of, off of me right off the bat. That's awesome. So you start out with no sword, no shield, in the middle of uh, the witch's hut. Not the witch's hut. The uh, fortune teller is next to Lake Hylia. And there's only one item you can basically get at the start of Metroid. We're going to go and check it out. It's where the, uh, the morph ball uh, normally is. We're going to go and check that out first. And then we're going to come back and we're going to jump over to Legend of Zelda. Where there's a lot of items that are actually open by default. I'm playing this on a normal mode. Uh, the randomizer knows about basically every glitch that you could theoretically do in both games. Uh, hard mode requires... Ooh, look at that. Right off the bat, instead of the morph ball, we have a hammer for, for Link. So I'll get a weapon to start off. That's wonderful. I'm going to go and grab that. Hammer. <laughs> And now, because I don't have the Morph Ball, I have to pull off some fairly tricky double jumps to get out of that. Um, so I'm not going to be doing any of the glitches. I don't know how to Mock Ball. I don't know how to Infinite Shine Spar. I don't know. I, I don't know any of that stuff. I am not a speedrunner. Uh, I play games for fun because I like I like fun. What kind of problem do you have with fun? As I get items, uh, I should make a point of enabling them over on my item tracker so that you can see them as well. Uh, if I accidentally get something in front of the item tracker, unfortunately that's going to make it... Um, that's going to show it. Like, for instance, I'll just drag my window over here. It's going to show it over top, uh, so I'll try not to cover that up as much as humanly possible. But again, I am a human. So now the long, slow climb up this this pit, which was originally the escape route at the end of the game in Metroid One. Oof. I'm starting out with nothing like screw attack or any of those. I uh, unfortunately have to get up using just sheer skill. The developers were kind enough to make all of these space pirates die with one hit with a regular beam, so it's not going to be too terribly difficult. I just have to be careful with my jumps. Ugh. Not like that. Not like that. I uh, will also make liberal use of save states. I have a controller with uh, two left shoulder buttons, two right shoulder buttons, sort of like the PlayStation style, and if you remember on the Super Nintendo, I didn't have a second trigger button. Uh, so I've taken those two buttons and mapped them to save state and load state, respectively. So I'm going to save my state fairly frequently, uh, mostly because I need just in case uh, something happens to the emulator, something happens to my stream. I don't want to end up losing all of my progress. All right. Whew. I'm off to a great start. 
right to start off I'm going to go home see if there's a nice item in there for me hope I can get there without dying at the beginning of the game Legend of Zelda has a lot of open chests and I just got a reserve tank before I've gotten any energy tanks for over on Metroid uh, at least I have a hammer, so I have something that I can hit things with. Uh, I'm going to start going and collecting a bunch of stuff. Uh, I'm going to pause. Try to keep up with my items as best as I can. I'm also making notes uh, on the item tracker website of where I have already gotten things. Um, that way I don't repeatedly revisit the same areas over and over again looking for items. I don't want to waste your time or mine. Uh, I have not looked at the randomized item manifest. Uh, I did download it just in case. When you generate a mod based on a seed, it will tell you where all of the progression items are and what the expected order that you'll get them is. Uh, I'm just going to use the item tracker and be surprised by where everything is. So, uh, the next place I'm going to go is where you normally get your sword and shield from your uncle. Uh, you might notice that the quality on my emulator is slightly higher than... Wow, because I have the hammer right off the bat. Everybody's already the super strong people. That's great. I've got no shield. How am I going to get this guy out of here? I'm going to have to lure him out. Or maybe I could just hit him. Come on. He gets out. <laughs> Here's where you'd normally go in to try to sneak into the castle so you can go and rescue the princess. And I get a bottle with a bee in it. Okay. That's not going to help me a lot, but at least I have a bomb and I have a bottle. first time I played through this, I had uh, no weapons whatsoever, except for bombs. Oh, I got some more bombs. Let's make sure that I mark down that I got a bottle. probably won't be able to do everything in Hyrule Castle, but I will be able to pick up a few items. Um, the fact that I don't have the lantern to start off means that I will have absolutely no chance of making it through the dark areas of the opening, the opening setup. But I can go a good ways before I end up even encountering those areas, and if I do, I'll back out really quickly. <laughs> Gotta say, I love the music in this game. music, the level design, the graphics. <laughs> oh, that's amusing. The randomizer takes into account uh, the fact that any keys for particular dungeons are necessary. Every once in a while, it will actually trap 
a key into a room that is already locked, uh, but it makes sure that you don't miss out on any items. Otherwise, you won't uh, you won't ever fail to get a hundred percent just because a key is locked into a room that the only purpose for it was to get a key. And I just got the map. That's interesting. I don't have a boomerang, but I get a map. Here I think is going to be the first dark room, so I might not be able to go down it. I can't recall perfectly. No, I guess not. I guess this is making my way to Zelda's cell. Oh. There's the big key. And I can rescue 20 rupees. Wowee. Alright, now that's not everything that I can get down here, I don't think. But I'm going to mark this off on my map. I mark off that I did the castle secret entrance. I got three chests in Hyrule Castle proper. And so, since I don't think I can escape through the sewers, now my only option is to go back out and go visit Kakariko Village, where I bet there's going to be a whole lot of treasure waiting for me. I'm actually quite fond of this rendering um, anti-aliasing that's going on here that turns it into almost high def. Uh, it's not perfect, but it's a whole heck, heck of a lot smoother than uh, the more blocky version that you'd see if I had left all of the filters turned off. Well, it bounces you, turns you right around. Do it the old-fashioned way. Whoa! I'm gonna die right off the bat, aren't I? Yipes! Feats don't fail me now. Hammer, right off the bat, is really great when you don't have anything else to do. Uh, the first time I played through this randomizer, I didn't have any weapons whatsoever for the first... Well, the first cycle through Legend of Zelda, at least. I've got a whole bunch of bombs, so I should be good to pick things up over in Kakariko Village. I have bombs. And what else did I get? Not a whole lot of much, did I? Just a whole lot of rupees. right now. I'm at full health, which means I can still get one hit, I think, by those guys. That's why I aggravate them with a bush. I just tried to pick up that rock by muscle memory. I do not have any kind of power glove or anything like that. The randomizer is based off of uh, the the Japanese ROM of Legend of Zelda, and 
that means that all of the text was rewritten by the goopers who made this mod. So you get nonsense like this. Negative. Let's keep them. Yay, I wasted 10 rupees and got nothing. By the black cats, nothing doing. Most of any of the text is all nonsense. Basically, this game was designed for people to speedrun against each other. And if you're stopping and reading things... <laughs> another reserve tank. If you're stopping and reading things, you're not racing. Ho <laughs> ho ho! That was the Moon Pearl. Now I can stay in the Dark World already. And... Nice. A boomerang. And an energy tank. Alright, so the only progress item that we've gotten so far is this hammer. At least I have something I can switch to if I want to hit things from a distance. I'm going to mark off that I have done the well. I don't have enough money to talk to this bottle seller. I got lucky with some early rupee drops. I had been hoping for more items, but... There's a couple of money-locked items in this uh, early part of the game. It's a good thing I'm not racing, because I can't even hit some stairs. Is this bombable? I can't recall. I guess so. <laughs> Wave beam. This doesn't lock any progress, but at least it will uh, make my life easier when I jump back over to Metroid. It's been pretty close to 10 years since I played this game. And yet I still know how to push all the blocks so I can get all the chests. I got some missiles. More missiles. I may not be keeping very good track of my missiles and super missiles and power bombs. Once I get enough to say, you know, I have some, I don't really care that much. So I've done the Thieves Hut. And I now have 100 rupees, so I can go and actually talk to that bottle vendor. <laughs> That's another progress item. Wow, I'm getting rich right off the bat. That's the power glove, that means I can pick up rocks. Uh, let's go bomb that chicken coop. Guarantee us a way to get some arrows and bombs when we need it. I suppose it's not the chicken coop, it's just a little shed. Ugh. Come back here. Come on. Oh, I'm gonna get you. <laughs> wow, what a jerk. There we go. Since I'm making such good progress already, I'm gonna save my state. Uh, now I should go to the chicken house. Oh, this isn't the chicken house. This is just a chicken coop with a shop in it. And 
this, I believe, is a bar. And there's a chest on the other side that I have to come in from the other way. Let's talk to this guy who's drinking. I once told a joke to Armos, but he remained stone-faced. Life, love, happiness? The question you should really ask is, is this generated by Stoops Alu or Stoops Jet? I don't get it. I'm sure that makes sense. It's probably some randomizer community in joke. I've got another energy tank. Making off like a bandit already. Alright, where else is there in Kakuriko Village? Uh, there's the Bug Kid. He's not here. This is just a guy with a bunch of beds. Sure have a lot of beds. Try to sell you his trash for 500 rupees. That's a nice way of explaining the fact that uh, he could give you literally anything. Go up to Zora once you get the once you get that area unlocked. Go up to King Zora, you could theoretically get a rupee after giving him five hundred. All right, <laughs> another reserve tank. There's only four, and I've already gotten three of them. The reserve tanks are sort of like a extra backup life over in Super Metroid, uh, just in case you run low real early. It'll save you from the brink of death once if you have them filled up. Randomizer, don't read me. Go beat Ganon. Where is the chicken house? I seem to recall being able to pull in this picture. <laughs> yep. I wonder if that was randomized too, or if you always got four rupees from it. Uh, let's talk to Sassarillo's wife. Hey, uh, uh, sure, I don't read kanji. Long time no see. Want a master sword? Good, good luck with that. It occurs to me that I like toast and jam, but cheese and crackers is better. You like cheese or jam? Cheese. Anywho, I have things to do. You see those two ovens? Yeah, two. Who has two ovens nowadays? I guess those do, do kind of look like ovens, with walks on them. Okay, nothing interesting whatsoever in the house. I went to see Bug Kid. I paid some money to the bottle vendor. On my checklist, I still have Chicken House. I can't remember which house is the Chicken House. This must be it. That's Bug Kid. I can't, uh, can't get that guy because he runs away. I need the Pegasus boots here. This is the chicken house. I bomb this wall. Oh, move, chickens! Oh. Poor chickens. Another missile. So yeah, once I get to about... 50 of each. I don't really care that much about... <laughs> There's a fifth chicken in there. God, I love this game. I don't really care much about counting how many super missiles, missiles, power bombs. Once I get to 50 or so, it doesn't really matter. More chickens. Oh. That's what I wanted. I didn't even need that. 
Oh, let's see, where else can I go? Um... I can go up into the woods. Let's go up into the woods. I should probably take out an item other than my bombs. Yipes. <laughs> Boy. This is that time with that cat that almost killed me in Mega Man. There's a deep cut for those of you who've actually followed my stream for three years. Last time I streamed and actually it was uh, Skepticon 9, I think. So I'm hoping for some more life. Can't shoo that thief away. A hammer ain't gonna do it. The range on the hammer is absolutely crap. I won't be able to get the Master Sword until I get all three pendants. I won't be able to read that until I get the Book of Medora. Medora, isn't it? I think. And instead of a mushroom, I get a 20 rupee piece. Alright then. Uh, there's also a hideout here. It's a stump or something. Oh, and there it is. Have you seen Andy? He was out looking for our prized ether medallion. Wonder when he will be back. Ooh, super missiles. Yes, I remember this. Back entrance. Alright, let me check off that I got some super missiles. I'm just gonna really check quickly check my Facebook. Just saw I got a notification. Uh, sadly, nobody's on my stream. That's okay, though, because I'm playing this for fun, and I am planning on sending it along to my YouTube channel. I just checked my stream and it seems that the uh, audio on the game is a little low, so I'm going to pump that up. So the audio on my mic is also a little low. Pump that some up, too. So, here I am. I have been playing for a little over 30 minutes. And I have a ton of junk. I'm not done yet with the first uh, first pass through Hyrule. There's a lot of places that are open right off the bat. Not sure if I should go into the Dark World just yet, but I do have the Moon Pearl and a Power Glove and a Hammer, and I believe that's all I need to be able to get to the Dark World right now. According to my tracker, it seems to be. But there's still more stuff to go and get down here in the light world. So let's go take a look around and see if we can find anything that might give me a little bit more.
ability to survive out here. I don't want to go into the dark world with nothing but a hammer. Race game. You have to try to get to the goal in under 15 seconds in order to win a prize. In the base game it is a heart container. In this game, though, it will probably be something else. Oh, also, I can see what's up in here. I can't get what's in here until I get the Pegasus boots. 300 rupees. Probably gonna be worth it when it's time to go visit Zora. Let's go see the arguing brothers. Well, my brother Leo, what a dingus. Blades are for skating, yeah, dingus. Come from my brother's room. Are we cool? Uh, communication people just talk to each other. We're not helping you. We're just bombing your house. That's all. Race, 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 jump off this fence. Ten seconds. Awesome. We can have this trash. That trash. It's another super missile. I gotta admit, I find it's absolutely wild that you can find items from both games in each other. It shouldn't be blowing my mind as much as it is, but I love it. I love everything about it. I don't actually need any money right now, I just felt like doing that. Something very visceral about picking up and throwing bushes repeatedly. Save scum and build up some rupees real quick there if I actually decided to go after Zora's items right off the bat. But I'm not planning on doing that. Oh, when you hit with the hammer and you hit their swords, you turn the other way. If I recall correctly, if you're ever in need of bombs early in the game, if you pick up all these bushes, it's one or two guarantees in there. Hey, I got one. That's cool, I only have a bomb capacity of ten anyway. have a cup of tea. <laughs> Saw that on my last playthrough when I was first getting the feel for how this works. And, uh, some of the translations are cute.
can't do anything about that jumping bunny. If you cut the grass out from under him, he'll uh, drop and give you five rupees and call you a meanie in the process. But I believe that's also randomized in this, so what you get from him might be not five rupees. More super missiles. Also an item if you drain the slowest. For some reason the left levers are always evil in this game. I would have dropped six snakes on my head. Ooh, an actual heart container. way for a second so I can save mark that I got a heart piece down my door. You're being a jerk by talking to me. Normally I would be angry at you and make you pay for it. But I bet you're just gonna break all my pots and steal my 50 rupees. You bet correctly, sir. This cave up here, I I'm gonna go and make a stab at that. Like I said, early on in the game, there's a lot of places that are unlocked in Zelda, and even more because I've already gotten a couple of progress items. I'm never gonna be able to hit that bird with that hammer. had a fish dinner. I still remember it to this day. How nice for you. I'm very food suggestible. Now I want fish. Shovel. Awesome. That opens up another thing that I can get. Maybe one day if I run this enough, I'll uh, actually take on some of the pros. Maybe. I have my doubts. That uh, tablet up on, the, on that shelf that I just passed. Those are apparently randomized too in this game. Uh, normally you'd have to bring, I think it was the Bombos medallion, to that one. Uh, but which medallion you have to use depends on the seed and how it's randomized. But it is still, you have to use a medallion. Uh, the only way to know is to have the Book of Medora to be able to translate it, or just try all three. Oh, 
boy, that's, those guys are not easy to kill with the hammer. Yeah, I should be trying to stun them. Now, as I recall, there is a buried item somewhere in this world. I feel like it's up around here. Sanctuary. I haven't visited the Muldor Cave, Ice Rod Cave, Zahasrul's Hut, Eastern Palace. Let's go see. sure that my stream was actually recording. Yes, I recorded my desktop. Shut up. I'll put that someplace sensible later. I'm one of those people who puts everything on their desktop. My first death. Ooh, I can start from the sanctuary. Okay. Hi, I'm in the sanctuary. Hello, Zelda. Hello, priest. Ooh, nice. Now I can survive just a little tiny bit better. It's like the mercy rule. I kill you, I'll give you a heart container. I tried to stab him with my fist. It doesn't work, by the way. It's not that you punch. You just literally don't do anything. Uh, ah, here's...
the south of here is a dark room that I can't get through without the lantern. been 10 years. My memory for video games is way better than it is for me. Birthdays. Oh, I'm gonna be back here to with my hidden stick. I'm not going to waste all my time chasing these guys around. Again, the left lever is evil. Drop snakes on your head. Oh, I should mark down that I've got a few things here. I have gone through sewer cracked wall, I've been to the sanctuary, um, let's go visit the mini Waldorm cave and the ice cave next, let's see what we get from there. I should probably save my progress too. There's not terribly much As a matter of fact, if you want to quickly get to some places before you have your flu, speedrunners often will just let themselves die. Not a thing I would advise you doing if you're actually training to be a speedrunner. I am just playing for fun. Thank you. 
I don't think. These guys are mini Maldorms because they are a smaller version of the boss later in the game. Uh, I just wasted one. I'm wasting a lot. I would be able to make this better. Excellent. Okay, the NPC gave me a five arrow set or a five arrow upgrade. Whatever. I'm not tracking my arrows. I don't think there is, any, is even an option in this tracker to track the arrows. Get another heart piece. survive half a second in the dark world, I can get a whole lot of stuff. I've got both the moon pearl and the magic mirror, and I haven't touched a boss yet. Now I'm gonna go see what's in the ice road cave. Holy crap! Not what I intended to do. Duh. Clipped straight through that door. Rod Cave. Up front is a fairy cave. It teases you. There's a different way, way to get through. And it's through this bumblebee rock. Ten arrows. That was definitely worth my time. Places in the light world I can get to is the Hasperlis hut. Go to the dark world and dig around in Thieves Town for a while, see what I get there. But I don't want to spend too much time consecutively in Zelda. I want to visit Metroid for a while. So I'm just going to go to this house for this and see where I can get Actually, can I get any place in that tree right now? I don't have the morph ball. I don't have any question of ball. Let's see what this is. It's an extra one. Not only was it a bee in that jar, it was a good bee. And I lost it and died. Oh well. I'm going to go to the sanctuary. Oh, uh, I believe Zelda will heal you. Yes. Trackers Metroid side. Let's see what I can actually get in there. Please enjoy the musical stylings of Hyrule's Orchestral Symphony.
Yep, there's absolutely nowhere I can get right now inside Metroid. I may be pretty stacked for items, but without at least power bombs, there's a bunch that's locked right now. Most of my progress items so far have been over on the Zelda side. I mean, I still don't have a sword. like Sahasrila's hut, and then let's go take on the Dark World. So not the direction I want to go. I probably also want to take out a stick. not keen on going to the dark world with nothing but a hammer and a boomerang, but... And a very few bombs. I suppose I have the fire rod, but that's not going to be super useful. Oh, I could theoretically use the fire rod to get through dark places, could I? I get it, the Armos was stone-faced. <laughs> Hi, want something for free? Go earn the green pendant in Skull Woods. I'll give you something. Well, that tells me that pendant is in Skull Woods. It was in Thieves Town last time I played. This randomizer is wild. I suppose the longer you play, reserve tanks before I've even looked cross-eyed at a boss. Um, I can get a few chests in the Eastern Palace. Ah, 
Ja, das ist geil. See on my item tracker, uh, Eastern Palace has three chests, supposedly. It's very unlikely I'll be able to get through the entire thing. We'll see. I should get my mouse out of the way. says I can theoretically take out blind in the thieves' town. That's right, just jump straight to dungeon number four in the game. Eight or something. Uh, 
Yep, looks like Thieves Town is my next destination. That's how this game goes. You just visit every place completely out of order. sort of progress item that I can use over in Metroid and go visit there for a while. Um, yeah, there's a bumper cave, there's a catfish. You can get a few of the chests in Skull Woods. Cave called Hype Cave in the swamp in the dark world. There's also the Graveyard Cliff Cave, which I believe you have to mirror from the dark world back into the light world. And there a little shelf in the light world that you have to use the mirror to get to from the dark world as well. Alright, dark world it is. No shield, no sword, no problem. To get to the dark world, I'm going to go to the Thank you. 
Give me that heart. Give me that heart. Give me that heart. No. <laughs> Can't reach any of them. Going after the corporations that make the bombs and arrows, not the little guy who has them. Okay, hammer. This is gonna be fun. It's alright, we can do it. Sanctuary is closer. Yay, one more heart. It's the Master Sword, or not. Fool. Faster if I went from the other side. Let's get my other hidden stick. A little bit more capable of surviving in here.
Yeah, see, this is my problem, is that I have no special armor, and almost no hearts. Everything's gonna do at least two hearts of damage in here. more into the fray. I've got all day. Full up on arrows. The map. Now I can look at the map. <laughs> oh, this is scary. Oh, they don't get 
stunned by blue rays. I can use my hidden strength over and over again and kill him. If I can hit him. I'm not counting deaths. I don't care. This is for fun. Fun? I'm having fun right now. Can't you tell? I'm so frightened. Ugh. Aspiration. Yeah, I just keep smiling and keep I'm reliving my childhood. What happened there? You miss your mom. It's like I'm one rupee away from being able to get an item from Zora, too. There's a couple of places in the uh, Metroid. Light world that I can still get. <laughs> I am clear. 
clearly way out of my depth right now. Forget it. I'm gonna go to the light world again. I suppose I could explore the rest of Thieves Town. There are a couple more things I can get in here, I think. Another pack of missiles. Ten arrows. Not that I need it.
Maybe I should go look at Facebook. Or are you on the Twitch chat? You know what? I'm not looking at the Twitch chat. Let's see if I can find a way to get the Twitch chat without the rest of this nonsense. Like my actual feed. There are apparently people in Twitch chat, but all I see is welcome to the chat. I have no idea what anybody has said prior to this. Sorry. There are apparently people in Twitch chat, but all I see is welcome to the chat. I have no idea what anybody has said prior to this. Oh, I have feedback right now. And that's because I'm playing Twitch chat at the same time. Oh, I have feedback right now. And that's because I'm playing Twitch chat at the same time. Oh, I pop that out. Ah, good to know. Alright, let me turn down that. Turn up my mic gain. That's hopefully a bit better. There, all right. I have a Twitch chat. Let's see if I can set it up so that I can see it while seeing other things. Hopefully bring me back to... No, I guess not. Uh, I'm using the online tracker at smalttpr mymm onecom uh, it says that I could do a bunch of stuff over in the Dark World. Uh, I could go play the Dig game. I could go see the Stump Kid. Go to the Hype Cave. Go to the Pyramid. Bumper Cave. The Catfish. I actually don't know what Cave 45 is. I am not a speedrunner. I'm playing for fun. One Southwood Grove. Oh, the one on that little um, platform. Uh, yeah, that's one of the places I was going to go now that I have access to the Dark World. But of 
course, now I have to get back to the Dark World. Because I died. Cave is also on my tracker. It's got like five chests in it or something like that. I got a pretty good idea. The uh, tracker will tell me where it is approximately. Thank you. All oh, right, I've got to get out of Deeb's Town from the north because I have to tighten mid everything else. I'm going to swing by the grave cliff because I can get there with the. Ah. Oh. for safety. Oh, well, that's cool. I'm just playing for fun. Um, once I get through one full playthrough of this game, I think I might uh, continue to hone my craft to the point where I start actually requiring tips. But uh, I'm enjoying the nostalgia trip mixed with a new sense of wonder and awe that comes with all the progression items being all screwed around the way that they are. Not that I don't appreciate the offer. completely forgotten where I was going. This is why, <laughs> ladies and gentle them, that I am not a speedrunner. Oh, it's so good to have a shield again. Be nice to have a sword, though. Yeah, definitely. I'd be up for that. Come visit. Good night. Take care. For 20 rupees, I'll tell you something. How about it? Sure. With crystals 5 and 6, you can find a great fairy in the pyramid. Flomp, flomp, whizzle, womp. I feel edified by that information. there. Okay, is it possible for me to even get to this? <sighs> I 
cute. So this is the place called Cave 45. I never knew it had a name. Do a little more save scumming, I guess. <laughs> I have a bottle with a red potion in it. I should remember that. Not gonna spend that right now, though. Maybe I should have. <laughs> oh, yeah, there's a uh, hurting here. Remember where I'm going. No range. Thank you. 
That's it. Okay. I'm gonna warp. I'm gonna save. Then I'm gonna restore from that save state if I die again. Awful early in the game for me to be saves coming, but who cares? This ain't competitive. Oh wait, but I gotta be outside of town to the north. Oh, I can get to the bumper cave. I wonder what's in there right now. <laughs> Load. Full heart. That'll make things a little more survivable. <laughs> Case in point. That's right, those guys do three hearts per hit. Cave needs the cape, because the cape makes you invisible and lets you pass through the bumper. Cape needs magic. Can't use any of my magic items. Because that'll decrease my survivability significantly. Can't get past those birds. Gotta kill them. How are they even birds? Are like pterodactyls. If I came in from north. What's up here, anyway? Just a crappy shop. Checking on my tracker real quick. Without the Titan Mid, I don't think it's actually possible for me to get to the Hype Cave, the Pyramid, the Catfish, but the tracker says that it is, so I think I'm intended to jump back over into Metroid, get to Meridia, and use that portal in the southeast of the Dark World. really want that 
really want that cliff. I can get to the cliff. I can also get to the bumper cave, and who knows what's in there. Wait, we already do know what's in there. It's the, the heart container. Eh, maybe it's just time for me to go over to Metroid. According to the tracker, there's only two items I can get over in Metroid. I can't get to that Meridia Warp. So I'm going to keep trying to exhaust everything I can in the Dark World. Maybe see King Zora. There's got to be a way to get to the Hype Cave. I'm not seeing it on the map. Well, whatever. Onward and upward. him. I'm going to save because I have no intention of doing that again. Everything still does three hearts of damage up here in the Dark World, but now I have five. All right. Oof, just dodged. Jim, though. I love how they call this a sanctuary and not a church. What's the princess doing in there? Separation of church and state. Thank you. 
Hmm. What does the fortune teller say in the dark world? I believe I get a full cure out of this song. By the black cats, I'm cheap. For ten rupees. Yep. Full cure. Worth it. Again. Ah. Take out my other hidden stick. Ah. That wasn't so cheap. Net win, though. All right, let's see if I can get to the grove. Not this way. Without the flippers, it's useless to come this way. So how the hell am I supposed to get to anything? boomerang hits it takes to kill him. If it's even possible. There's got to be a way to get to that ledge. These need Titan Met.
Nice. There we go. Now, I should be able to mirror. Move over a little. Get into this cave. No. Yeah, that was definitely worth it. Let's guess let's go visit Zora. She still requires a mushroom. As I recall, there's a little cave where I can get another item. It's not in this direction. Not a cave, it's like a ledge. I'll see it coming up here. Whoop! Ha! <laughs> a sword! Finally! I need that. Oof. get to it though. Shit, I think I need the flippers to get it. Which in vanilla, you'd get from King Zora up here. I'm just going to take every wrong route. <laughs> what did I say? Every wrong route. survivability a little. Not sure that's worth 500 rupees right now, but I'll take it. Oh, I should probably mark off that I've gotten two heart containers. Three, actually. No, two. No, three. I can't count. Yep, 
need the flippers to get there. Damn. I'm going to pause, update my tracker, make sure that I don't miss anything that I've gotten. Got a graveyard cliff, King Zora. Apparently there's a glitch available, I can use fake flippers to get to the, the Zora ledge, but honestly no. Next places I gotta go are all south of Thiebstown. So there's gotta be a way to get there. Real close to the map. Nope, seriously, I can't get to any place south of Thieves Town without the Titan Men. Not even if I go long way around. Unless there's another dark world tile somewhere that I'm forgetting about. I'm going to search for that right now. There's one on Death Mountain, but I can't get up there. One southeast of the Eastern Palace. That'll get me everywhere I need to go. And it requires a hammer. Perfect. Alright. windows because now I can't see half of the things I need to see. I think it's time for that. Thank you. 
Well, how am I supposed to get there? Gotta go in this way. What's up here? No, oh, just another quick way to get to the palace, I guess. Yeah. There it is. So this is a warp tile. Let's see what's in this cave. Probably a fairy. Oh, I wish I had a book catcher net. Save. Look at the map. See where the heck I am. All right. There's a few things I can get in here. That's the dark palace. Hype cave is right there. Stump kid is there. Cave 45 that Trinity mentioned is right there. also a catfish up here and an item on the pyramid all right so I'm going to go up and around I'm going to ignore the dark palace for now oh is there a place where I can warp here I think there is not effectively though Real nice if I had a sword one of these days. I don't need it, but I want a cup of tea. safe again. I really don't like being in the dark world this early. Whoa, my input just went wonky. I'm using a Logitech Unfortunately, maybe running out of battery.
Oh, I can get to the hype cave. I don't know why they called it that. I think the guy in it is named Hype. Maybe he's named Error. I don't know. Sword. Oh, thank goodness. I'm just gonna swing it for a while. I'm gonna die as soon as I get my sword. Oh, I feel so much less vulnerable right now. mark off that I finally have a sword. <laughs> and there's just bombs in here. What's it called 45? Is that its name in programming or something? Anyway, I mark it off. On the tracker, it's just called South of Grove. All right, I should double back. Actually, I can go forward to the dig cave, the dig uh, game. just realized I jumped off the cliff instead of going back to the Dark World. Oh well. There's apparently also a uh, warp tile up here that is accessible by hammer. I don't want to spend a lot of time in here either. Not just yet. Wait, where am I going? I still only have three hearts and no armor. Is there anything of value over here? This gets me to the Bombos tablet. But I don't think it's even Bombos anyway. Not that I have a medallion. There's nothing up there. One of those was fake. Eh. I 
All right, Hype Cave. Which is right here. Fourth reserve tank. Well, at least there won't be any more of those in the game. Missiles. Ah, oh, some armor. <laughs> Another sword. Ah, uh, okay, I've got some armor and the Master Sword. This will be a whole lot easier to live in the Dark World now. This guy must be named Hype. Uh, uh, let's see what else is left. I'm gonna mark off that I just did the Hype Cave. Still haven't done the Dig game. Haven't visited the Pyramid. Eventually, I gotta go back to uh, Metroid one of these days. I might be able to take on Thieves Town now. Now that one hit won't kill me. Alright, let's go to the dig game. And all the way up to the catfish. I could use some health now. This is the bomb maker. He doesn't have health. I forget how this works, but I think I'm guaranteed to get it after X number of digs. That was it. That was the secret. Five rupees. <sighs> well, at least I'm making my money back. I don't think there's terribly much else I could spend on, though. I don't think there's anything I can actually get by winning this game, aside from rupees. Double check the tracker. Nope. Doesn't look like it. Alright, let's see if I can survive all the way over to the temple. That involves my going west, north into 
set of rock pillars. Pyramid is what I meant to say. Okay, next I go to the pyramid, then the catfish. I've been in Zelda for a long time. Oh, you know what I could do? I could briefly warp back over to the light world just long enough to get some health. See if I can survive to the pyramid. Well, not if I can't figure out which way I'm supposed to go. That's a bomb shop of a ye oldy bomb shoppy. Wanted to go this way, though. Places I can get in the light world again. I swear, part of this game does involve actually playing Metroid. gonna go into the dark palace area for a bit see what I could find there but I don't think I can get anything holy crap Thank you. 
Ah, what's in here? Shop, probably. Yep. Let's buy a potion. Still only have one bottle. I should save. I feel like I haven't done it in a while. Or if I did, I did it accidentally or by muscle memory. Catfish's circle. Screw attack, really? Okay. Mark that down. Let me double check that I haven't missed anything that I've gotten. I've had no shield marked for a while. I do have a shield, though. Strangely, I still don't have any power bombs, morph ball bombs. It's going to severely limit what I can get to over in Metroid. But now that I have the lantern, I've got a bunch more places I can go to in the light world. Metroid Tracker, there are actually a few places I can get to now. was, and I guess let's go visit the light world. Eh, why not go now? Well, let's just make sure that I'm not going to miss anything over in the dark world. Nope, the only other place I can get to right now is up on Death Mountain. Oh, and I suppose I could go through Skull Woods and finish blind. But, uh... Nah, let's go visit the Light World first. Now, I can get up on Death Mountain, I can get to that dark room in the sewers. Uh, Death Mountain has quite a few items on it, including the Tower of Hera, where there's a bunch of stuff, and Muldorm. I can take him out. pick up the stuff in the sewers first. Maybe switch to a useful item.
Mm, is it faster to get to it through... Oh, I don't think the door is going to be open when I go in the sanctuary, is it? Nope. It's funny that it, uh, the sanctuary itself is actually considered part of the sewers dungeon because it showed the key that I have there for it. Let's go in the front door. All these innocent guards just, you know, doing their job protecting Ganon. Agonium, I guess. Oh, that's neat. Since you don't have to rescue Zelda, it's already... Sword ornament is already opened. Was there a chest up there? No. Okay. There's a chest. Is that Morph Ball? Morph Bomb? That opens up a ton. I actually haven't been at full health with the Master Sword this whole game until just now. I'd forgotten briefly that you could shoot and went, wait, what? I like how this iteration of Link dyed his hair pink. Of course, that may 
be where the uh, Link is a trans woman narrative comes from. And you know, I, I'll give them that. Whatever gender Link is, Link is cute. Uh, is there anything for me to get this way? Not yet. Oh, I should pause and make sure that I'm looking at my tracker. See what all has opened up over in Metroid, and I bet it's a ton. There's a bunch up on Death Mountain, including a portal over to a different part of Metroid. So I should definitely open that. Plus Tower of Hera. So yeah, let's go rescue the lost old man. Which I believe is actually this way. I totally walked in the way of that. Trident. I kind of hate the noise the Master Sword makes when you shoot the beams. Cave to Lost Old Man. Good luck. Thanks. old man. That was difficult. As I recall, there's nothing particularly special in this cave. Just a bunch of dead ends. Power bomb for saving the old man. Let me pause. Power bombs. Finally, I'm starting to get to some progress items over in Metroid. Uh, so next, I want to keep climbing. Stop. Ah. Hey, look. Metroid still exists. <laughs> Kind of almost nothing, nothing opened in the map. Look at this, I've got Norfair. If I go over to uh, Brinstar, I've got four reserve tanks, Morph Ball, Bomb, Screw Attack, Wave. Oh yeah, you can't actually get to other areas when you're not in them. Oh well. So that's where the portal is. While I'm here, I'm going to save. OK, 
cave away from sky cabbages. I assume that means that's the path back down. It was in the vanilla game. Oh, let's see. Can I get on top? Woohoo! Half magic. That'll be useful. And there's a warp tile here. Well, that's a no-brainer. I'm just gonna steal this thing. Thank you. Eh, let's go back out. There's a couple of things we can get in the dark world, but I don't want to get them right now. Because I am more interested. Oh, actually, I should have actually continued up. That's the grapple beam. Alright, let's do this thing. This is not the way I want to go. But it is the only way I can go. My cabbages! I amuse myself, that's the important part. starting to open up Metroid and we haven't even been in it. Mark off the Spectacle Rock, Spectacle Rock Cave. Now we want to get to the Spiral Cave on the east side. Which I believe means going into the Dark World and warping on top of Spectacle Rock, using that to jump off north. They called it Spectacle Rock because it's better than calling it Pair of Boobs Rock. kind of tablet that is. It's one of the three medallions you have to use there. Thank <laughs> you. 
Nice. Less nice, but still appreciated. This, on the other hand, this is why we came here. Another piece of heart. Another missile. More arrows. One day I'll get a bow to use them. Hook shot. Heck yeah. And another piece of heart. That was a nice haul. Still gonna get up top again. These guys, if I recall correctly, are called tech tights. Oh, I need the Titan Mitt to get through there. That's a warp tile, but you need the Titan Mitt for it. This, I believe you have to use one of the medallions on, which I have none of. I can't get up there anyway to test hitting them, hitting those pegs. Oh, it was just a super missile on the floating island, that's not so bad. Uh, I feel like the spiral cave was one of those drop downs. Got Death Mountain East. Yeah, Spiral Cave is one of the drop downs. But which one? We'll find out in a second, won't we? Can't drop onto that one, can drop onto this one. And drop onto the other one too. This is the spiral cave. Excellent. Let's see what's in here. Pegasus boots. Nice. Now I can do this. There are apparently some glitches where you can get across some places where you have uh, have to use the hook shot. If you just have the Pegasus boots and you do a really nice bounce off a wall, like that, you could get over a pit. But I just got the hook shot, so it doesn't matter. <laughs> Also, the randomizer is set up to not need glitches like that. Now that I have the hook shot, I can get back across this. I don't want to go back across that way. I want to get back up to the top. 
back up to the top is in this cave. I see what's in this cave. I can't remember. I'll do it. Well, I'm suspicious already. Nothing. There's nothing in that cave. Well, let's see what I, what's up here. Well, this is the other way back up, isn't it? Now we go to the Tower of Hera, and after I'm done that, I think I might stop streaming for a while. I've been yawning quite a bit. It might be nap time. As I mentioned earlier, I've got severe sleep apnea, which has been causing me problems requiring the use of a CPAP, which I can't use while I've got hypertrophic turbinates which means my nose meats are too big. So, I'm getting surgery for that, done on the 6th, and that will hopefully help me with my ability to use the CPAP, which will hopefully help me with my ability to sleep. And in the meantime, I've been letting my body decide when it's time to sleep and when not. And it's been telling me it's time for a nap for a bit now. I'm going to push through to beat this tower at least. It should be pretty easy with all the kit I've gotten already. This is the theoretically second real dungeon. First. Second. Eastern Palace is the first. Oh, I don't have the big key. Something is missing. The big key? Gee, I wonder. This is a bad place with a guy who will make you fall. A lot. Yep, that would be Maldorm. Let's see what's in here. 
the big key. No regular key, so I can't get in that door yet. Interesting. Have I done everything on those two bottom ones? Yeah, I got a bomb upgrade. Which I believe normally was a key. It's possible this is one of those situations where everything was randomized in the other order. Yeah, I guess let's go. Got the map. Bunch of skeletons. Nope. Guess not. If you find a shiny ball, you can be in the dark you can be you in the dark world. That would be the moon pearl. drop down on the big key from above, I guess. It's been a while. I'm allowed to forget a thing or two. I vaguely remember this. those worms already. Jeez. I suppose there is a mom-mall dorm at the top of the castle.
Huh. That looks bombable. I don't think it is, though. one floor above us. Haven't gotten the big chest, though. Yep. Boss fight. If I get knocked into the middle, you get knocked down a few floors. Whoa! That was close. That wasn't straight off. I wonder how fast this is going to go with the uh, Master Sword. That was three hits. Four, five, ah, hell, yep, like I said, back down a few floors, it's all right, get knocked down, get back up again. <laughs> Sorry. Wait, I did get the big key, didn't I? Or a big chest. What was even in it? I forget now. Those are all hearts. Could go and flip a switch somewhere. Eh. Nah, I'm good. <laughs> Excellent. My reward for beating Muldorm is the little key to be able to get into that last room. I don't think there's anything back there, but I'm going to have to go and get it anyway. I'll tell you, this randomizer is wild, man. 
I'm gonna save, go back in. Finish off the rest. Oh, this is the tile room. Ah. I hated this when I was a kid. I saved up money from my paper route so I could buy Super Metroid and Legend of Zelda and a Super Nintendo all by myself, all with my own money. What a good capitalist I was trained to be. Oh yeah, there is a chest here. I think I have to use the lanterns to get it though. Yep. Bombs. I think it's just about time for me to... Oh, shoot. Just about time for me to save and go and take a nap for a little while. Sure that I have everything up to date on my tracker. Yeah, I think so. All right. Markov Tower of Hera. Mark one of the crystals. That's number five, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Five. I haven't done anything else. I've gotten a bunch of chests in Thieves Town. Um, Eastern Palace, I haven't been able to get very much through. I haven't gotten through Thieves Town yet. I think that's good for now. And so, I think, when I pick back up, we're going to head straight back over to Metroid and see what we can pick up there. So that'll be the end of part one. Thanks for watching. I hope you've enjoyed.